a different sort of video today. We are, I am trying out a uh, Kubota M4062, which I've got on demo from Hospon, so they near Colchester. Or something for the future, or uh, maybe a replacement for the Ford. So far, I really do like it. I like the layout, it's just simple, it's not complicated, the cabs fairly spacious. Um, you got a good view of everything, what you need to see. What else do I like about it? And it runs the topper really well. I mean, a bit too well, a bit too much power really for it. Uh, you sort of, when you sit in it, you sort of know what everything is. Everything, sort of got logos or something on it to show you what it is. I do think Kubota have gone, come on fairly well through the years. Diggers and allowed to tractors, new sort of model, new sort of models. I'm, I'm quite interested to see the, uh, the new, the really big Kubota. I'm not sure what it's called now. It's got 151 horsepower. Way too much for us anyway. Uh, I think all these farm did a video on it and I, and I thought they were quite nice and, and I think, ugh, I have to say it's really smooth on here as well. Um, I'm not bouncing around everywhere. Going on a 3K. I just sort of go a bit faster than I wanted to, but I'm going to keep it slow because I don't want anything to damage, damage the Kubota. Aaron from uh, from Kubota at Hospital really did uh, sort of organised a uh, demo for me, and it, and it came. It, um, it came. It's Sunday today. It came on Friday in the morning, and he sort of came around and had a look at what we're going to put it on, and he uh, organised the demo. That's what I like about it. You've got, even got, you can't see it. You've got a sunroof, but I'll, I'll do a video and show you where everything is in a minute. But anyway, just enjoy the video. Thank you very much. Here we are in uh, Kubota. So I'm just going to show you a few bits and bobs. So you've got your hydraulic shuttle here, forward, neutral, and reverse. There's your dash, got a horn, all your lights, your boom, and then these change, if I show you, I'll turn it again, so these, if you look up there, if I press it, so you see how many litres are in the how many litres of fuel you have, you press it again you can keep pressing it and it comes up with the hours I'm not, I'm not really sure what that does but anyway these I'm not sure yet I'm not really sure about so not going to comment so you got your snail tortoise and hare sort of ratio so we both come up with six gears six gears back and forward on each ratio uh, you got a you got your park brake but you got another park brake here so I'm not really sure what's the difference but you guys will be able to tell me your four wheel drive and you can have your sets oh you can have your set RPM on there and you got your hydraulic levers. Is that right? Hydraulic levers? Yeah, I think something like that. Then you got your link arms up and down. Oh. Obviously your RPM again. PTO. Your front window wipers. Your back. Your back lights. Your front lights. And your other front lights. You got your beacon there. Then up here, 
We have got all your air gone. All that good stuff, and obviously a good radio. You've got to have a radio. It's fairly good as well. Uh, anything else? What else? You got all your cables down there. Um, you got you got two cup holders that were quite handy, and you can open these by just pulling. I get that like that. I won't be able to open it now, will I? They're fairly new, so a bit stiff. Like so. Quite nice. Obviously, you got your back back window. You can open. Goes like that. All right, we'll have a look outside. <coughs> your fuel. Your lights and that. So she's got the little grass, to, grass um, shoes on. That's what she sort of looks like. You've got ten front weights at the front. It's sort of topping some sort of rubbish, little grass, nettles, and all that good stuff. What you don't really want, a bit of a pain with all the trees, but anyway. It's been raining a fair few days, and it's still quite fairly wet, but it hasn't sort of soaked in, so it's not too muddy at the moment, luckily. Here's, here's the uh, bush hog. you a few bits and bobs. Here got your PTO, I think you just press it and it turns the PTO starts going. I'm not really sure, you hold it down. Not totally sure with that. But yeah, she's a good looking uh, tractor. She really is. Does a great job and I, uh, I really do love it. Definitely something for the future.
yeah, so it's my last day today with the Kubota. Doing a bit of rolling with it, as you can see. I just thought I'd put a few things what I wish they could change. So, I'll pick it up like that. So, you're, so you've obviously got your ratio here and your gears. It'd be nice if you could sort of maybe have the gear stick still or something like that. I'd be able to, with a shuffle, just push it forward and it would uh, go up in gear range. Then you still got this to put it in uh, which ratio? Ratio you would like. Also, it's got two gears, get two um, brakes. I mean, There's probably a reason for that, but it'd be nice if there's just one. But yeah, so I'm just doing a bit of rolling with it to see how it goes on that. It's coping really lovely on it, really. But yeah, it's going tomorrow, so be interested to see if we might want to have one of these in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you in my next aerial video. I think I'm going to have some silage, a lot of silage video to put on. And what else have I got to put on? I think I've got to put something else on it as well. But yeah, that should be good. And then hopefully next summer I should be grain carting when I get my tractor license done. So yeah. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.